Good morning, Israel. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Coffee with J.D. Nijah. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I heard some. The house was settling and made a big creak over here. Um, before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash, Barakata, Yahweh, Barakata, Yahweh Shai, Barakata, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. In the Paleo Hebrew, the uh, one Kodash uh, is our Heavenly Father, uh, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit that is tearing with us in these last days. Like Yahushai told Peter at the end of the book of John, how did he say it? Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about what I have planned for John. You follow me. How did he say it? And then Peter, verse 20 of John 21. Then Peter turning about, seeing the disciple whom Jesus loved following. He's talking about John, which also leaned on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which one is he that betrayeth me? And Peter, seeing him, said to Yehoshai, Lord, what shall this man do? Because the Lord had told Peter, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. And uh, that's what we're doing as apostles and prophets and elders and helps and men of the Lord. We are feeding the sheep. These, This is our job right now. If you are not, in these last days, if you're not feeding the sheep, then you're not the Spirit's not on you. The Lord's not working with you. So think about that. If you're out there, my family, my friends, my brethren, it's it took me a little bit longer than it should have to um, figure out how to do videos. And I still don't really know how to do videos. I just do videos. So if you're upset with um, my editing, which I don't even do. I just do everything raw. It's all in the spirit. Um, the way to do videos, there's a, um, you open an account, um, do a video, whatever it is, um, open an account on YouTube by, um, I don't know, YouTube will show you how to do it. I don't even remember how I started doing it now. It's not that hard. Um, basically, you could do a video, I think, in your, this is the way I do it every day, is just um, record a video with the camera and then um, go into YouTube and at the bottom there's a little X. You push that X and it'll say upload a video and when you push it, it'll show all these um, videos. It'll show the video that you did, and you just push um, upload a video, and it'll ask you to put a title and a description, and then you just push upload. And um, as long as you're by a source of uh, internet connection, it'll download. If your internet is slow or weak or something, it if you're on the road and you're and you don't have um, strong internet, it's. I tried that. 
you will become very frustrated at how, how slow they download. But anyway, I'm just saying you might want to think about um, pushing the word. But back to what we were talking about. Um, and how I said unto Peter, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? You follow me. So in my mind, I'm starting to realize that why John is tarrying and what John had to do was to prophesy the end and at the same time become that voice in the wilderness, that, um, that Holy Spirit that comes on to us. So um, Lord, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for um, leaving us that comforter, the the apostle that Yahweh Shai loved, and um, you know this might I, this might end up not being of the truth, but see where I'm coming from. I'm coming from my spirit, and the spirit's telling me. There's something there because if you, I've done the lesson on John the Baptist being in the womb at the same time as Yahweh Shai. Um, Elizabeth and Mary were cousins. Um, they were cut from the same cloth. So, and John was the progenitor, the meant the one who came before Yahweh Shai, who wasn't authorized to even latch his his sandal right so um what came up this morning was um i watched that movie uh the power of the dog jane campion a um superb filmmaker and uh, the movie uh portrays a couple of brothers real similar in tone and scope as um, a river run, runs through it. But instead, this is my take. The power of the dog comes from, um, the verse comes from Psalms. And that's why I say, it is a companion piece to A River Runs Through It because both movies were very um, scriptural, biblical. Um, let me see. I'm going to try. I'm going to find that. Um, David says... Um, In verse 20. Man, this Bible is awesome. The word the word of the Lord is awesome. So it says, um, I'll start in 16 because that's where it starts talking about the dogs. Or 15, my strength is dried up like a pot shirred, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. Verse 17, I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. Um, there'll come a time when... Uh, Just like David and just like Yahawashai, they are going to be focused on the prophets and the elders with a disdain and a look and a hatred that you wouldn't believe. Um, 
they part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. When he was on the cross, they were, after he died, they were like gambling to see who got the clothes, right? Um, verse 19, but be not thou far from me, O Lord Yahweh, for my strength, haste thee to help me. Please help me, he's crying, deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. So the movie brought up the issue of what is the power of the dog, and uh, we looked it up, and lo and behold, it was scriptural. I had never heard that, at least as my memory permits, I didn't remember this um, this verse. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Right? So these dogs, the dog, and um, my friend asked me, what do you think it is? And I said, I would imagine after the, watching the movie, the dog is um, the devil or Edom or um, the physical incarnation of the spiritual demon Satan. And lo and behold, I was correct. And um, so the movie is about two brothers, real similar to um, A River Runs Through It, but um, I don't want to spoil it for you, but um, instead of one brother being the Christ metaphor, the Hamashiach metaphor against um, all beliefs because he was a gambler and um, he lived in the world and he did his own thing and, and was actually... Um, better than the than the good son. This one is obviously the opposite where um, I, I'm not going to jump off. I'm not going to jump off. You watch the movie and you tell me because I'm trying to figure out which which brother was the dog in this one. Very interesting. Um, how she left it kind of a, a lot like River Runs Through It. Very open to interpretation on who is who's actually good and who's actually evil. That's what makes these um, these literary allusions to the Bible so powerful. Is because. Um, what was brought up between me and my friend here was that even though I know this word and I push this word and I will go to my grave, I will drop into hell for this word if I have to. Um, my reputation in the world has been very... tarnished and, and tainted in some ways. So um, my friend asked me, how can you be so much this and claim to be so much that, right? And um, I said, I don't know, pull up, pull up who um, Yahushai was. And so we looked through the things that the Pharisees said about um, Yahushai. And as we went through it, it was, whichever um, website we pulled up, it was very distinct in all the different ways that Yahushai was persecuted, um, called a sinner. Um, oh, gosh. Um, he was um, berated for hanging around with common people. He... Um, 
I mean, the list goes on and on. And, and the point of the matter is you don't have to know every way that how shy was um, talked down. One was um, unlearned, unlearned. They accused him of not knowing, <laughs> not knowing the Bible, not knowing his own word, which is hilarious in itself. But that's the point of um, what we're going to see with the men of the Lord. We're going to see a lot of people saying, "You don't know," and I and I experienced this week with my buddy um, Bryce Kennedy. And um, I realized now that the reason I do these videos is because it go, it's going to be published, but it's going to be published only to those who need to know it, when they need to know it. And it's, it's, it's like evidence going against um, a lot of these people. I can't. I can't at this point argue myself into corners with people who have completely different belief systems. So as a as a Hebrew and as an Israelite, um, uh, I have to be more cautious about where I go and what I do. But anyway, uh, so that was part of it, and. Uh, and I just happened to open to um, Psalms, and I'm in the book, the books of Asaph. I'm in the 73 to 83 um, group here, the 10 that Asaph wrote, plus um, pretty sure he wrote 50 and 90. Um, you know, I'd like to check that out right now. If you don't mind me studying on your time, because I'm studying, this is our study time, and um, I would hope, see, they don't call, they don't call 90 or 91 a psalm of Asaph, which um, in some books they do. And let me go back to 50, 51, and see if they call... Um, one of these, a Psalm of Asaph. I'm just doing this for for studies, study studies. 51. A plea for forgiveness to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. Yeah, to the chief musician, that's Asaph. So 51. Well, they actually, they call 50, a Psalm of Asaph, 50. Gonna have to read that sometime to you. But for today, the one I wanted to do real quick and then not real quick, but I'm gonna go through it. It's a short one and it brings up another issue that um that people are going to stand against, just like they stood against Yahushai, our Hamashiach, our our Met Messiah. that we aren't who we say we are. And as a Hebrew Israelite, and believing I'm of the 144, um, I believe I'm part of that Elohim, or in the Paleo-Hebrew, it's different. It's uh, Elohim or some something else. Has a different has a different pronunciation, but it's the same idea. Is that there was a certain amount of judges who helped create everything we see under Yahushai, and um, they were called the Elohim, and um, that means. We're the sons of God. We're the Yasharala. We're the um, princes of the power. Um, we're the stones in the temple. We are the the ones that um, have the knowledge to rebuild the temple and um, 
service the temple and service those who come to the temple. In other words, we have these powers and um, <laughs> what's going to happen is people are going to come right up to the point. Some of us will be put to death, but some of us, they'll, we will be put right up to the point of is your faith going to carry you through and you're going to stand against these people and and take your death like a god or are you going to crumble like a like a pitiful um despicable um also ran uh, a heathen a a man only a man only i'll just put it that way so um, Psalm 83, I, or Psalm 82, I was going to read 83, but we all know 83 is saying one thing. And I looked at 82 and I said, this this follows the message better. I, I haven't downloaded the rest of um, part two and part three because my internet was running slow yesterday and I, I, I'm not home even now. So these, these next two, the finish of... Um, Damnable Heresies, I'll probably download later. And then this one, I'm kind of getting behind. We'll see how quick I can download these. But this this you probably aren't going to get till Monday, today, Sunday. Um, so Unjust Judges, a Psalm of Asaph. Um, Yahweh power standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. So this is where it talks about the Elo. The Elo I'll just say it like I learned in plantation Christianity, so I don't chop it up. Um, Elohim, um, he judges among the gods, and the, the um, explanation of gods is mighty ones or judges. In Hebrew, Elohim. So when you talk about the mighty ones or judges, that's the 144,000 elect. So it's a small letter G. That means we're not him, but we're of him. Um, how long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Question of the day. Verse 3, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. If you want to pray with me every day at noon, that's what I pray. I pray that he defends the poor and fatherless and does justice to the afflicted and needy. In other words, I pray for my people, Israel. For deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. That's the prayer every day at noon. All you have to do, you don't even have to explain it. Just say, Lord, I pray for my people Israel. I pray for my people Israel. Lord, comfort my people Israel. Stand by your people. Amen, or whatever. I don't. I get confused about the amen because a lot of people are saying don't do that. But um, Selah, plea or the Wada, thank you for for taking care of your people. Um, verse five: They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. And. Um, this is a good one to remember. They know not. Neither will they understand. Painful. Painful, painful, painful to say, I am of Yahweh I am, I am a brother of 
the only begotten Son. I am a lesser God. I am that. And no one will understand. Anyhow, um, they walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Out of course is unstable. Everything is unstable here because there's no order. Everything is whacked out, out of course, unstable. Verse 6, thanks for being here. I appreciate um, just being heard. Um, yeah. Just being heard is important. So if you're listening, know that you're being blessed. Whether you like me, don't like me, like what I'm saying, don't like what I'm saying, know that the vibration that is either making you uncomfortable or making you comfortable or confusing you, pissing you off, whatever it is it, it feels like to you, it is more cleansing and refining and blessing than, than whatever you're feeling. Six of Psalm 82, a Psalm of Asaph, unjust judges. Verse 6, I have said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. So, who's, who's saying that I'm a small g God? I'm saying it. You know why? Because I believe my Lord. Because in verse 6 of Psalm 82, unjust judges, a psalm of Asaph, my boy, my man, Asaph, I, part of my heritage. I have said you are gods. And again, I will get gods from verse 6. We'll see if it's a different... It's the same thing, mighty ones or judges. The Elohim or Elohim um, literally, literally God. I have said you are God. And all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and I will die like a man. I am in the same flesh body as you are in the same flesh body that Yahweh Shai was in. We have to bleed out. We have to we have to corrode from the inside. We have to this corruptible has to fail at some point so that the uncorruptible can come on. Um, you shall die like man and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O power, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. So, one of the things to remember is that this land is my land, this land is our land, this land is his land, and that's all that that's that's the end of the song. Yeah, from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters to the purple mountain majesty and whatever else you want to visually and physically encompass as this earth, it's it's Zion. It's 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 his it's his Plain field. It's our. It's it's our plain field. The earth was made for his people, and the other nations. Judge, O oh, arise, O oh God, judge the earth. We're all coming back together.
as the power of Yasharala, the princes of the peace and the princes of the power. And we will take over this earth again. And we will inherit all nations as our reward and as a recompense for the punishment that we got put through for going off. And we will rule in order and in righteousness and there won't be any more arguments about who's who or what's what. Everything will be back in course. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Remember, Israel, falling is Babylon. Babylon is falling. Rising is Zion. Zion is rising. Till the next one, thanks for being here. Shalom and Kwam Yasharallah.